probably already in the house given the fact that it's raining uh, and raining consistently and uh, uh, constantly <laughs> without fail it just keeps raining so we thank God for the rain we need it too God bless you Pat uh, God bless you Mabel Patterson thank God for you this evening bless you Carrie Talbert Elder Talbert God bless you great evening to you as well we thank God for you God Bless you, Smith household. We love you guys. Good evening to you. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank God. Deaconess Pam, God bless you. Elder Bino, we thank God for you. All of our Periscope saints. God bless you, Beeland household. Uh, we thank God for you this evening. Uh, Sister Shelby, amen. God bless you tonight. Uh, Shelby Catherine, we thank God for you. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you as well, family. <laughs> Amen. Good to see all the saints coming on in the house. God bless you, Sister Carr, uh, and all of you that are uh, coming in from the north. Cheryl Roberts, thank God for you, Sister Roberts, uh, being in the house tonight. No better place to be uh, than in the presence of God. Oh, we give God praise. We give God praise. We give God praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank God. God bless you, uh, Queen Gladys. Uh, we thank God for you and, and uh, celebrating yet still. Uh, celebrating still. Celebrating still. Is this better way? Celebrating still. Um, give me that too. Yeah. Uh, Periscope Saints, hold on. Uh, come on, go ahead. Uh, there we go. We, we got you back in. We got you back in, Periscope Saints. You could. almost got you back in uh we will figure that out and we'll, we'll figure that out what's happening there god bless you sister Tom thompson amen sister joycelyn thompson um let me have it uh god bless you sister joyce carter amen first lady carter thank mm -hmm. you elder carter. um thank god for elder carter coming on in the house Praise the Lord. We're getting our Periscope saints taken care of. Just give us a moment. Uh, Pastor, continue to greet the saints if you can see them coming in. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. God bless you. Saints taken care of again. God bless you, Riley household. Periscope Saints, I know you're wondering what just happened. Uh, we're trying to get it right. Uh, I don't know, it's good now. We're good now. Seems like the weather wants to affect everything, but we are victorious in Jesus' name. We will not be stopped. We will not be hindered because our God is the great God and he's worthy to be praised. God bless you, Sister Prost. 
Uh, we're glad to have you in tonight, uh, our dear niece and daughter, amen, uh, there in North Carolina. We love you, love you and your household and all that God is doing there in North Carolina. Praise the name of Jesus. God bless you, Sister Sharif. Yeah, amen. The devil is still alive. <laughs> I'm so blessed now by that testimony. I just, every time I see your name, that's what I hear coming out of your mouth. We thank God for you, woman of God and how he's kept you, how he's continued to keep you, uh, even in this season. God is so good, and we bless him. God bless you, Tom C. Banks. Uh, thank God for you tonight. All the faithful saints in the house of God, we know that God is worthy of every praise. We enter his gates with thanksgiving, the Bible tells us, and we enter his courts with praise. We are thankful unto him, and we bless his name. For the Lord is good, and his mercy endures forever. Thank God for you. Apostle Shaw, God bless you. Glad to have you in the house tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, let's invite, uh, invoke, acknowledge uh, the presence of God in the room, because uh, he certainly is here. Uh, I have him in me. You have him in you. Uh, we have him in us. Uh, he's everywhere all the time. And so let's just acknowledge that he's here and acknowledge him and, and allow him to declare that he gets the glory in this place. Father, tonight, we give you praise and honor. We thank you yet again for another opportunity that you've given us to call upon your name. What a privilege and what an honor it is to know that you are our Father, that you are our Lord, that you are our Savior, that you are the Redeemer of our lives from destruction, that you are the one that crowns us with good things, that you are the one that keeps us from the plan of the enemy, that you are the one that gives us life, abundant life, and life eternal. Father, we are grateful tonight that you allow us to come together as a family, as a people, as a kingdom nation, that we may honor you tonight together, that we may corporately call upon your name, that we might corporately worship your name, that we might corporately praise your name, and that we might corporately hear what it is that you would speak to our hearts tonight. Thank you for a dialogue of, of good word and good conversation. Thank you for a dialogue of strength and power. Thank you for a dialogue of anointing and glory. Father, that our speech is already blessed by you. It's seasoned with grace and that your name is exalted through it all. Father, it's you that we seek. It's you that we desire. It's you that we long for. There is none like you in all the earth. There is none that compares to you in all the earth. And so we give you glory and we give you honor tonight. We say, God, be exalted. Be exalted in our midst. We lift you high. For your word tells us if you be lifted, Jesus, you would draw all men to you. And so we lift you in the airways. We lift you in the highways. We lift you in the byways. And we point every spirit, every soul, every person, we point them to Jesus. We point them to Jesus. And we declare that he in turn points them to the Father. Father, we thank you that as we have continued to stand in the gap, even in, as relates to these weather happenings around this nation. Father, for the fires and the dryness in the west, for the hurricanes and rains in the southeast, for even the effects that are coming with wind and other things in the Midwest. Father, we declare order in this nation, in the atmosphere. We call things into order, and we declare, God, that you are getting glory even out of this. Bring balance and bring order in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you have given us authority in the earth realm. And so we speak to the elements. We speak to the winds. We speak to the waves. We speak to the water. We speak to the fire. We speak to the earth. And we say align with the purpose and will of God in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for being covered for all of the people of God that are in these various places. Thank you for being a cover, even in this city, Father, where the rains are coming at a, a, an enormous rate, Father. We thank you that you're keeping from flood. You're keeping from, from, from overwhelming amounts of water in, in various areas. Father, that you are keeping our homes, that you're keeping trees off of homes, that you're keeping us safe, oh Lord God, because that's the kind of God you are. We called upon your name. You hear us. You hear us. We have that confidence that you've heard us, and that if we hear us, we know that we have the, peti the petitions 
for which we ask. And so, God, be glorified. Show yourself mighty. Show yourself strong. Do miracles, even in the earth realm. Let your name be exalted. And we shall give you praise together. And we shall glorify your name together. In the name that's above every name, the Lord Jesus the Christ, we give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 He's a great God, and he's greatly to be praised. We welcome you again to the Body of Christ Worship Center uh, by way of the refuge. Amen. Our home where we believe the Lord is in charge and he's doing great things. We invite you to join us to worship his name, to praise his name, to honor his name. Give him uh, your best praise, and in turn, he'll give you his best glory. He'll give you a, his, his best glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank God for all of you in the house tonight. God bless you. Let's receive Pastor. She leads us. She shows us as she gives us uh, uh, means and avenues in which we may walk in worship together. God bless you, Pastor. We love you. Pastor, you said what? Oh, I, I don't read lips very well. Uh, and, and everybody's trying to tell me something. I have no idea what they're saying. But they're asking me to tell you, to remind you, <laughs> to share. Share with somebody. Share, share your page. Share your uh, page with others so that they can join this great uh, gathering of believers tonight. God bless you. Your mind. 
just for a moment. Just open up your mouths and say something to God. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord God. We give you praise. We magnify your name, oh Lord. We give you glory. We magnify you, Jesus. You are worthy of the praise. You are worthy of the glory. You are worthy of the honor. There is none like you, Lord Jesus. There is none like you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord God. There is none like you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise and glory. We give you honor and majesty. Great is your name. Great is your name. Hallelujah. 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 We magnify his name. Thank you, Father. He's a great God. And he's always worthy of a great praise. We can never honor him enough. We can never praise him enough. We can never acknowledge him enough. For he has done great things whereof we are glad. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank God for uh, uh, Pastor Amen and uh, 
uh, into such a magnificent, marvelous time of worship uh, where we are experiencing how great is our God. <laughs> We're experiencing the power of his name, the glory of his name, the majesty of his name. He's been good to us and we honor him way, way, way down in our belly. Yes. We give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give him praise. Amen. Again, thank you for joining us tonight. Always a delight uh, to be with the saints of God uh, as we gather uh, in the house, as we call upon his name together, as we worship him together. Always a delight. And so again, we say thank you. We love you tonight. We love each and every one of you uh, for what you bring uh, to the kingdom. Amen. Members in particular, uh, uh, diverse uh, in our gifting, diverse in our call, um, but every joint supply. And because of you, the body is whole. Because of you, the body is complete. Because of you, amen, there is no lack. There's no schism in the body. That's what the Bible tells us. Amen. And so we believe that and that God has called each of us, each of you, uh, by his divine purpose and by his great name. Mm -hmm. Again, welcome. Amen. The word of the Lord tonight. Let's go to the word of the Lord. Uh, and thank God for all of you. So many of you uh, that are in there and commenting. Uh, we appreciate those comments and those praises, no, most of all. <laughs> Amen. Those praises that have gone forth, most of all. Amen. Amen. Let's. I was trying to tell you, this is the car of Felicia. It's Felicia. The car of Felicia. Ah, got it. <laughs> got it. Pastor knows these these uh, uh, screen names uh, and, and all of these. I don't know. Um, and most of you realize and know that I'm, I'm not uh, on social media per se. Uh, I, I say that. I don't have a sign on for social media. Let me say it that way. Because every time I say that, people say back to me immediately, oh, yes, you are. You just don't know it. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I don't have a login for social media. Right, Amen. Right. Uh, but she knows all the names and all the people and, and, and all of that. So she recognizes you all uh, much more readily than I do, uh, particularly the saints that I know very personally. Uh, but don't know your 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 uh, online names, uh, and mm -hmm. so she has to tell me who that is. And so thank you, <laughs> thank you for that, uh, for all the saints being in the room. Okay. All right, let's go to the Word of God. Uh, uh, we're going to finish out this chapter five okay. uh, of Romans, uh, starting in verse twelve, and we'll go to the end um, and um, honor the Lord and see what He has to say to us. This is a great uh, end to this chapter five uh, that started out talking about the results of justification. Uh, tonight, amen. <laughs> there she goes. She says the car. She, she, she responded. <laughs> uh, uh, we want to, uh, God bless you, Sister Monique from New amen, Life. New Life. God bless. Amen. Has a new release. Yes. Amen. Y'all go get. Y'all go get Sister Monique Tom Thompson. Thompson. Monique Thompson. Look her up. Uh, and uh, on all of the platforms where digital there's mu music release, all the digital outlets, all of those places. Monique Thompson. Activated Praise. It's the name of the, her single release is Activated Praise. Mm -hmm. And we know Sister Monique up there in uh, 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 Winder, Georgia, yes. uh, is a powerful woman of God, yes, um, both in song and in word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, but she'll 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 worship you under the pew yes, uh, will. and will praise you <laughs> back from under and back yes, up again. Amen. So go get that. Uh, a new release. Thank yeah. God for you being in the house. We had to acknowledge that real yes. quickly. I saw her name. Yes. Um, Good they, evening, Sister Brenda. In Jesus' name. You. All right. Uh, chapter 5, uh, verses 12 through the end. Uh, as, as I start to say, we started this conversation with uh, results of justification. Mm -hmm. And tonight we want to look at uh, uh, the, the differences that occurred uh, because of one man. Uh, can, can we just say one man? Mm, <laughs> one man. Boy, that's good already. Yeah. Uh, uh, the differences that occurred Ooh. because of one man. Mm, 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 mm. I haven't even read it yet. My, my soul is happy. Thank you, Jesus. Let, well, let, let's read it so we can all be happy together. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. I'm going to have to come back to that one. Yeah, we don't teach it tonight, but I'm going to have to come back and preach that one. I, I heard uh -huh. it differently in this other ear. Yeah. Uh, I heard the preach version. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's read, let's read. Uh, the Bible says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, 
and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law, sin was in the world. But sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. I'll read one more, then Pastor will kick in. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was, excuse me, for the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. Verse 17, Pastor. For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as though one man's offense judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation, even so through one man's righteous my, act, my, 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 my. the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. Thank you, Jesus. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace abounded much more, so that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading and the hearing Amen. of his word. The word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. And so we say again, the difference of one man. The difference of one man. We start this, script, this passage out, amen, that talking about Adam. Talking about how sin entered the world. How sin made its way into this place that God had created. Uh, it was engineered or orchestrated uh, by the enemy. And then it was allowed in, given passage, given entry by man. Uh, we read that. We, we looked at that a couple weeks ago um, when we started out in this, in this passage. Um, and the scripture here in verse 12 sa begins, basically says that because of that one man mm -hmm. uh, who submitted himself to another voice, who submitted himself to another uh, uh, instruction, who submitted himself to another order, because of that one man, sin was allowed to enter into the earth. And not only that, but because that one man was the first man, and everything that came out of him was a, rep uh, 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 a reproduction mm -hmm. of who he was, then by nature, by natural nature, by by natural uh, uh, being, those that came after him inherited what he what he released in the earth. Mm -hmm. My God, my God, my God. Mm -hmm. And some people may say, "Well, what did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. I was just born." Well, well, uh, the Bible says we are born in sin and shapen mm -hmm. in iniquity. Right. And so, because of that one man. Uh, and that one man's offense, yeah. trans transgression was applied to everything and everyone that came in after that one man. My Lord, my God in heaven. Uh, now, now, it doesn't leave us hanging there, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to the good news in just a second. Yeah. Uh, and it says in the scripture that because of that one man's sin, that everything, every penalty, every uh, weight, every 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 uh, fall, every destruction, every pain, every every anxiety, all of it was attached to that one man's sin, mm -hmm. and that's what was passed on to those that came after him. Amen. And so uh, then, uh, thank God for the good news. God didn't leave us out there with the one man. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord God. Because that one man, God bless you, Brother Joseph, that one man uh, 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 literally had us in a state that we had nothing else but condemnation. Nothing else but a life doomed for destruction. Mm -hmm. Nothing else but only, uh, only the accessing, amen, uh, of death and not life. That's the only thing it had available to us, that was made available to us through that one man. Now, if we remember, if the one man, amen, if the one man had done what God had instructed him to do and lived under the blessing, mm -hmm. the commanded blessing that God placed over his life, then we would have never needed uh, <laughs> the final man, Adam. Some used to call him the second man, Adam. Yeah. Uh, I, see, I, 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 I call him the final Adam. Yeah. Amen. Uh, and, and so we would have never needed him. Why is that? Because we would have always stayed in that same place uh, of relationship, that same place of fellowship, that same place of authority, that same place of wholeness, that same place of healing that we, that we had from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Had we walked in Jesus. obedience. But thanks be to God. He didn't leave us in that state. For somebody, that ought to be good news. <laughs> he didn't leave us in that state. He yeah. went ahead of us. Uh, and, and let me just say this. Thank you for that comment. The main man. Yeah. Thank you, Sister Miller. The main man. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 God uh, was not surprised. Right. God was not surprised right. when man fell. Let, let me be very clear with this, because some people believe that, you know, uh, God had to come up with another plan since Adam messed up. God always had a plan. Well, let me say that again. God always had a plan. You know how I know God always had a plan? Because God declared who man was from the beginning. And whatever God states and whatever God declares, that has to always be. And so even though he knew ahead of time, because he's omniscient, and he's everywhere all the time, even though he was aware that man would fall and that the relationship would be broken or severed, he always knew that he was going to get man back to himself again. The good news is God didn't create us to cut us off. God created us to have fellowship and connection with us always. And so through time, amen, he looked through eternity and he said, I'm not going to leave them in that place. I'm going to send my son. As a matter of fact, there was a conference at the creation. <laughs> there was a conference held at creation. Yeah. And even at the onset of creation, when he said, let us make man. Mm -hmm. uh, he, I believe in that conference, in that conference, there was also, we're going to make man, son. Uh, and son, you're going to have to come as the real man because th this form that I'm going to make is going to be influenced by his surroundings. But you, you have always been influenced by glory. So I'm going to have to send you, but I'm going to give him an opportunity first because I've got to get him in the earth realm by way of a body, <laughs> by way of a body. In other words, I'll say it differently. I've got to get me in the earth realm <laughs> by way of a body so that I can have one in the body. <laughs> I can have one in the house that is able to rule on my behalf. Yes, sir. In other words, I'm going to relinquish who I am in the earth realm and, and, and impute, we use that word impute, and impute that to one that I breathed into. Thank you, Lord. So that now he's ruling on the earth realm. Uh huh. So we talk about the one man, Adam, and the one man by him, condemnation, condemnation came in. Well, let's switch over and go all further in the same chapter, chapter five, mm -hmm. and talk about the one man, Jesus. Because he also says in this passage that be the one man Jesus, hallelujah, thank you, Father, the one man Jesus brought life. And the difference between what the one man who brought condemnation and the one man who brought life, uh, the difference is, or the bridge is, one word called grace. Thank you, Father. Grace bridged the gap, hallelujah, between death and life. 
Condemnation and life. Condemnation and life. Grace was the bridge that brought us to a place of wholeness, that brought us to, a, to our Genesis 1 place. Grace was the thing that caused us to access again the glory and the power of God. Now we're able to live in that glorious place that God had from the beginning. He never changed his mind. It wasn't a hiccup on God's part when Adam, when Adam fell. That was not a hiccup on God's part. God always had a plan. Sometimes we try to put God in our kind of frame, in our kind of thought process, or in our kind of behavior, and say, well, you know, I messed up, and so, you know, God must have messed up too. God didn't mess up. God never messed up. God always, always, always had a plan. Even when the enemy, get this, even when the enemy thought that he would have won, mm -hmm. <laughs> because God didn't give in the enemy sovereignty and all-knowing and all-power. God even allowed the enemy to do what the enemy did. Why? So God can still show himself mighty. Mm -mm. He's not done with this. He's, that was the end of all when, when Adam fell. That was the end of all. That wasn't the end all. That was just the beginning. God allowed, uh, allowed it to be so that he could ultimately bring himself into the earth by, by way of Jesus in the flesh and bring life where death only reigned. Said in that scripture, chapter 5, mm -hmm. uh, that even before the law, and Pastor, I'm going to let you jump in here in a second. Uh, even before the law was established, uh, we, uh, sin could not be imputed. Mm -hmm. That's what it said. It couldn't be imputed. So we read earlier in earlier chapters that he allowed the law to come in so that there could be a standard yeah. by which man could measure himself against the purpose and the will of God. Mm -hmm. And because man could not live up to the standard, God had to send Jesus. Thank you, Father. The final man, Adam. Would you say some help? He sent help from heaven. The Bible says he'll send help from the sanctuary. Amen. And so he sent help so that man now can be reestablished and reconnected with his God's original intent. To be fruitful. To multiply. To replenish the earth. Subdue it. And have dominion. That's God's original intent. He never changed his mind. Pastor, jump in here. I'm, um, I'm in almost in tears. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like weeping every time I look down and think about, and, and this is the only way I can describe it. Whew. The only way I can say it is what I hear. Mm -hmm. um, uh, two men, if you will, with wounds. <laughs> this is good. That's good. That's good. And I'm, I'm thinking about... Ah. Adam's womb and Jesus' womb mm -hmm. and, and how both men had a nation in them, True. had people, in a them. people in them. Mm -hmm. And by Adam's sin, all of the people that he carried, all of the peoples, the nation of peoples that he carried, all inherited, even as Overseer said, inherited his sin. That's right. He inherited his sinful state. But Jesus had a greater womb. Oh, a, gr Jesus a greater had, what? He had a greater womb. Uh, you know what? I, he, I had a, he had a greater capacity and he had enough in him. And by one, I'm just, by one man's sin, uh -huh. everybody was lost. Everybody. Right? But by Jesus, by one man's obedience, everybody gained access to salvation and reconciliation with God. Mm. Amen. And so I'm just thinking about how Jesus' womb was enough to cover Adam and all the people that he carried. <laughs> Listen, he was limited. Adam was limited. But Jesus was able to come in and his womb was enough. His obedience was enough to pass on a new inheritance, to up overturn this one and offer a new release a new access to a new inheritance mm. and, and i guess i and i was i was trying to be patient to just just wait and let you just walk this out because i felt like this is kind of jumping ahead um not jumping ahead in uh chapters but in this lesson because my first thought as we were reading was about the significance of your one the examples that we have here of mm -hmm. one being disobedient mm -hmm. and the effect on many mm -hmm. and one being obedient and the effect on many more Ooh. Ooh. I need you to 
consider no, tonight. Come on, right there. Ooh, right there. Excuse me. Right there. I need you to consider. Oh God. The impact of your disobedience, mm. your failure to align yourself with God. You think you might think that your no to God, or your your inability, or your your uh, resistance, uh, your resistance. To the will and purpose of God is yes. just about you, you and your house. It's Not just at all. About, it's just, it stops at your door. But there are people tied to you. There are people you are carrying. And your disobedience can adversely affect them. Likewise, your obedience, your yes to God has an impact and can have an impact on generations. Generations. Abraham, where is that? Look, as overseer would say, where is that, that in the Bible? Bible? Uh -huh. Look, Abraham. Uh -huh. <laughs> Abraham said yes to Jesus. That's right. Abraham said yes, yes. to God. Yes to God. Without any whole, without a whole lot of evidence. Just without yes. a whole lot of, you know, without a whole lot of proof, a whole lot of whatever, a, 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 a lot of guarantees. All he had from God was go to a place that I will show you. I will. Just get to moving. I'm going to show you. But that's all he had. He stepped out on a word and based on his faith in God, based on his obedience to God. and his faith in God, God guaranteed that he would make him a father of many nations. By, by Abraham's obedience to God, a whole, several generations were blessed. Several generations walked in the, in the blessing and the inheritance that God gave to Abraham. And so we, it is, it, it, I, I just... That is weighing so heavy on in my heart and, and, don't and in my it. spirit um, that this example shows us clearly the impact of one man's disobedience and another's obedience, and 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 how many more? I don't I don't believe this is by accident. How look at how many more were affected? How many more were blessed? Uh, yes, a blind yes, Doctor Carter. I love that. Um, how many more? I want you to look. Of how many more were impacted, were blessed by Jesus's yes, yes. in comparison to Adam's no, if you will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I want you to consider that tonight, um, that your resistance to the will and purpose of God is about much more than your, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Really? Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I don't know who this is for. Mm -hmm. If it's here tonight, what somebody watching now or somebody will, who will watch later. But you're, you, are, you are struggling with it right now. Mm -hmm. Somebody's struggling with that right now. You, you're kind of, you know, kind of waffling back and forth between uh, which way to go and, and, and trying to decide whether or not to give a whole yes to God. Really struggling with what all of that looks like because we know a yes to God is loaded. Right. And we don't know what it's going to look like right. when it's all, you know, when it's all said and done. But but I know that there's peace attached to it. Mm -hmm. Peace for you when you say yes to God. Um, but somebody is, is struggling with that, struggling with that. Yes. And I need you to understand that your resistance to him while you delay souls. Souls. While you delay souls mm -hmm. are being affected. Souls are dying while you delay. And if you should say no, it is not just about you. And you will not be allowed to just sit in peace in your home while others. I want you to understand that when you say no to God in this moment, I don't know whatever it is that God is, is requiring of you or what he is sitting, what he has placed before you and, and requesting uh, just a yielding and a submitting to him, a yes from you, whatever that is, understand that it is, it has far greater, a far greater reach than you ever would imagine. It goes far beyond your front door. Many lives are attached to this and it would behoove you to give God a yes. Adam's, Adam's disobedience impacted I met many people, mm -hmm. but Jesus' obedience saved the world for those who will say yes to him. When we first started this conversation, Pastor, 
that was the preach version <laughs> oh I heard in this ear. Um, when we said even the, 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 the subject matter of this conversation tonight, the difference of one man. One man. And, and, and when I heard it that time in this ear, it was positive or negative. Yeah. Uh, the impact yeah. of one man's one man. obedience mm -hmm. or disobedience. Yes. I recall, and, and, and just by way of testimony, because this, this definitely uh, is fitting and came up in my heart yes. uh, when, when Pastor was sharing and when I was hearing this earlier. I recall when, when God was, was, was pulling us into uh, ministry and pulling us toward the preach word uh, of God officially. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, I, I struggled with it. Yeah. I absolutely struggled with it. People at Body of Christ Worship Center have heard this before yeah. Yeah. Uh, over time. Uh, but I struggled with it, saints. I struggled. I'm telling you, I struggled. And one of the things that, that I had to learn was this this call was not about you, me. This call was not about me. It's not because the only thing I could focus on at the time was what I would have to give up, what I would have to do, what I would have to sacrifice, what I, 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 I. And God had to really uh, take some wind out of my jaw, if yeah. you will, uh, basically pride, and, and, and remind me that this ain't about you. This is about those that are waiting because of you. Yeah. And I was in prayer one day and, 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 and in deep prayer. And I was, I was taken off, if you will, uh, uh, into a vision of sorts. And, and I was not asleep. I was in prayer, but, but taken off into like a, a, a vision. And I was brought to this place. And it looked like um, uh, what I would have deemed as hell. Dark, uh, miserable. A lot of anguish, people wailing, people looking like total, uh, like they were in total dismay, like helpless, mm -hmm. nothing left, mm -hmm. nothing at all, nothing, no hope. And I found myself in this place dark and I'm walking around and asking, why am I here? Why am I in this place? And I noticed from a distance that it seemed like everybody there had, as if it were, a, uh, uh, a, a, a tag around their neck, like on a chain, and it was a, a, a tag, a nameplate tag, something that you would see is like if people are being booked on a crime or something that you've seen on a movie. And, I, and I'm, what are those tags? What do those tags say? What do those tags say? And our Spirit of the Lord said to me, he said, go closer, go closer. And I began to move closer somewhat in, in, in somewhat a, 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 a fear uh, because I wasn't sure what I was going to see and I didn't want to get close to that situation. I wanted to stay in a safe place. <laughs> I wanted to stay in a safe place. But the Spirit of God kept unctioning me and urging me, get closer, get closer, get closer. And when I got close enough to where I could read the nameplate, I read one nameplate, and there was a woman. My name was on that nameplate. I read the next nameplate. It was a gentleman. My name was on that nameplate. I read another nameplate. It was a child. My name was on that nameplate. I said, why are all these people named with my name? And the Holy Spirit said to me in that moment, and this is what broke it for me and made me say yes to God. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit said to me, as clear as I'm talking to you, those are the ones who are ending up in hell because you keep saying no. Listen to me. When God showed me that vision and I could literally see People's lives coming to destruction because of my stubbornness and my rebellion, it broke every bit of that off of my life. And when I came out of that uh, vision, I came out hollering, yes, Lord. And when God, hallelujah, and when God gives you a yes, I mean, out of your spirit, when he gives you a cry, yes, Lord, out of your spirit. Live, what God has always said about your life and he's declared what you shall be and when you walk in that yes everything that you were fear fearful about everything that you was concerned about everything that you focused on that made you in, uh, illegitimate or in, ineligible hello Moses God removes those things when you say yes and there's a difference between singing yes Lord yes Lord that's sweet but when it comes out of your spirit, there's a travail that comes with that yes. And I'm going to tell you something. Out of that kind of yes comes a birthing. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Out of that comes a yes. Uh, out of that kind of yes comes a yielding and a birthing and an impregnation. Then all of a sudden, a giving full birth. Hallelujah. It came out of a yes. Hallelujah. I can't even get pregnant until I yield. Mm -mm, you cannot. I can't even get pregnant until I yield. And once I yield, then God's able to come in and deposit into me what it is he desires for me to be. And out of that thing is birth life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The difference mm -hmm. of one man. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, absolutely. We're talking about Adam and Jesus, but I dare say that God has extended this conversation tonight yes. because there's someone, some ones amongst us mm -hmm. where in this COVID season, I believe it's true that even in this COVID season, as you have spent a uh, focused time in the presence of God, God's been pulling on you. He's been challenging you. Yes, Lord. He's been re and requiring of you. And, and somebody got to a point and they said, okay, that's far enough. I can't go any further, God. I don't want to go any further than this. This is, you know, this was a struggle. I, 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 I was pushed to get here. But I, please don't make me go further. But God is saying, come on. There are lives assigned come on. to you. There are lives come on. assigned to you. Oh, come those on. Those in the vision. Those come on. were the lives that were assigned to the potential lives Come on. that would have been lost if he did not say yes. There are lives. Likewise, there are lives yes. assigned Come on. They're assigned to, to you. you. They're assigned they to you. They are assigned and they are built. They are made to respond to a certain sound. You're carrying it. Yes, Lord. The sound, they are made, they are wired to respond to, to a certain sound. That and that you're sound carrying. You are carrying. There are She's lives. not carrying it. I'm not carrying uh -uh. it. Mm -mm. Your neighbor is not. Don't look. And it does not matter. If you're doing something, I'm reminded of, uh, of, of uh, an encouragement that our daughter, Dacia, mm -hmm. um, shared one day. It doesn't matter how many other people are doing something similar to what you're called to do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Still, go forward with what God has called you to do. So and likewise, I'm saying to you, it doesn't matter if, if you see other people who are doing something similar to what you're called to do. Don't 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 give that away. Don't give Hallelujah. your assignment away and say, and say, well, you know, other people are doing it. Don't worry about it. That's comparing what you have to others. Comparison one with another is never wise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never Thank wise. you, Jesus. It's never wise. Don't, don't. Don't compare. Don't compare. To another. What they are doing, it doesn't matter. I mean, can you imagine if one car, if Chevrolet decided not to uh, make a car because Ford already already had one? Nobody does that. Mm -mm. They don't. Do, nobody does that. We we do that. We say, oh no, there's already another car. I don't need to make. Ain't nobody buying no more cars. Ain't making. No, there's there are people who prefer the make and the model and the way it rides. A Chevy versus a Ford. Likewise, the way your book is going to flow is going to be different from the other book. Doesn't matter. There are people assigned to you, assigned to your voice, assigned to the call of God that is on your life. They will respond to the hand of God on your life and they will respond to the oil of God that flows from you in the way that only it flows through and on, upon and through you. Say yes to God. Save yourself and the lives that are assigned to you in Jesus' name. That's a drop the mic moment. Say yes to God. Say yes to God. Hallelujah. Stop struggling with it. Woo. Let this night be the night yes, my God. that you decide I'm not going around this mountain anymore. Another day. Glory be to God. It's just easier, God. <laughs> just easier. Take my yoke upon you yes. and, learn. and learn of me. Mm -hmm. he said. Mm -hmm. Why? For my yoke is it's easy. easy. And my burden is light. And my burden is light. Yes, Lord. He said again over in the book of Acts, mm -hmm. he told Saul, it's hard. Yeah, to kick <laughs> it's hard to kick against the prick. Yes, 
God. And so, yes, when you, get, you just breathe better. Oh, yes. You rest better. Hallelujah. Peace comes. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Not another day. Yes. <laughs> Peace comes. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah. Peace comes. Glory. Hallelujah. When we reconcile a yes. Thank you, Lord. In our spirit. Oh, bless God. Thank you, Holy Hallelujah. Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you and know that you're dealing with hearts right now. Glory. And so, yes, Lord. Glory. And we declare and decree Glory to God. that the yes Glory to God. that is broken in the heart of your people, Glory to God. Father, that they will not shrink back from it, but they Glory. press into it. Glory. Let them lean into a yes. Let them, hallelujah, let them lean into a yes. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, as they're doing so right now, as they're doing it right now, cause them to breathe. <laughs> where their breath before was labored, where their breath before was staggered, where their breath before was faint, God fill those lungs now with fresh wind, with fresh air that only comes because of yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that this people shall be a people that advance the kingdom of God by whatever means necessary. They will not give away their voice. They will not give away their calling. They will not give away their anointing and push it off to another because, God, you made them uniquely, divinely, with diversity, uniqueness, so that that individual that is waiting for that sound Glory. will be able to hear your voice. God, we submit to it. Forgive us for resisting so long. Yeah, God. Thank you for not holding it against us. Thank you, Father. But tonight, God, we are declaring together, no longer I but Christ that lives yes. in me. In the name that's above every name, yes. the Lord Jesus the Christ. And we give you praise. Hallelujah. Yes, God. If you've given God a yes tonight, just give him a praise. Just give him a praise right where you are. Yeah, I see. Yes. Just give him a praise right. I know you feel better. <laughs> yeah, you're breathing better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're breathing better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. You're breathing better. You're lighter. Yes, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender, I surrender all. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. We bless you, you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> the difference yeah. of one man. One man. Ooh Who knew? God knew. Yeah. The difference of one man. We bless you in Jesus' name. If you're giving tonight, God bless you. You may sow a seed if you, the Lord is impressing upon your heart to do so. Go to bcwcga.org. Go to the donate button and you can sow that way. You can cash out a gift, dollar sign bcwcga. You can cash out your gift, dollar sign bcwcga. You can also mail your gift if you like. Uh, check or money order to bcwc1514. 13th Avenue. Just count backwards. Easy to remember. 1514 13th Avenue, mm -hmm. Columbus, Georgia. Amen. 31901. We love every one of you. Yes, we thank indeed. God for what he's doing in your life. We rooted for you. Oh, all the yes people in the house. Yes. <laughs> Woo! The I devil is in trouble. You hear me? Yeah, we got some new recruits. Yeah, Lord, I praise your holy name for the yes praise saints in the house. Thank, Thank God. Lord. We look forward to seeing you again yes. uh, in the coming days. Stay safe. Weather happenings, we prayed about that earlier. Stay yes. safe. Be wise. Glory to Amen. God. And we know that God shall keep the city. Yes. He shall keep those that are committed to him yes. in Jesus' name. And so we believe yes. that, that the, the glory, glory of the Lord shall be revealed, revealed and we shall see it together. together. God bless you. God we love you. you. We love Go you. with God.